Hey folks, uh, so I got this um, infamous uh, service engine soon, which is technically the check engine light uh, yesterday. Uh, so, so far I have been doing only the basic DIYs like uh, changing oil, uh, especially on the transmission, engine, differential, uh, brake pads and a couple of uh, other uh, minor things. And uh, a lot of other electrical stuff I've done in this car. But uh, we have not uh, uh, got a uh, check engine light. So this is going to be really interesting and I just thought of uh, documenting it as well. Uh, so the reason why you get a check engine light in the first place is the car is basically, at least the modern cars like have hundreds of modules and they have sensors and modules for each and every control unit. Uh, with the main one which is the DME over here which controls the entire engine like the ignition, spark plug and the uh, airflow and uh, all the stuff. So also as a part of the package what it does is it runs a sequence of uh, test cycles and it tries to verify if the values are within the range. For example, if a sensor has to give a value range of 0 to 60, uh, whether it's a voltage or a frequency or whatever it is, uh, and if it's fall below beyond this range, uh, it's going to throw out an error. Again, it's not going to th throw it out immediately. Uh, it's going to verify for two or three different drive cycles, depending on how it's been programmed, it throws the error. But once when you get the error, uh, it apparently means there is something wrong. Uh, it could be uh, anything. So the only way we can actually go about it is to uh, check the code and break the details. For example, uh, the MAD as flow sensor actually fails which triggers the error on uh, misfire. So the first thing we all, always think is like uh, go and change the uh, ign uh, ignition coil and spark plug. Uh, so that's not the case. So usually it just gives a clue about what really the error is. So I ran the code for this particular one and uh, it turns out to be the uh, exhaust valve solenoid. I hope this is going to be straightforward but you never know. So the way I'm go to, uh, going, um, going to troubleshoot is like, again there are a lot of YouTubes and uh, excellent blogs written on this. So I'm going to follow that. But also I'm going to have my own way of like uh, troubleshooting this. The way I'm going to uh, do is like uh, take out the exhaust valve uh, solenoid, uh, clean it with the uh, uh, carburetor cleaner and just put it back, go for a test drive and observe it for a, a week or so. If it works fine, that's fine. Uh, otherwise, I'll just go ahead and uh, replace the exhaust uh, valve solenoid. Uh, really, there is no other uh, reason, but I also have heard about crazy stories like uh, low pressure, oil pressure could uh, would be actually uh, causing this, but I'm not going to uh, go through that route because of probability based on what I know about my car, it's going to be pretty low. So the first step is I'm going to just remove the exhaust valve solenoid and see uh, if it's going to uh, resolve the issue. By the way, the car actually did go into limp mode and already it's not technically drivable in the sense it doesn't go past of, uh, 55 or 60 miles per hour and the, the RPMs are also limited around 2500 RPM. Uh, so let's start the process and let's see uh, how it goes. And uh, it doesn't seem to be going above 2000 RPM. So let's see if we have any error codes or any lights. Okay, and the only light I actually see is uh, just ignoring the brake and the seat belt. Uh, all I see is the service engine soon. Uh, maybe li uh, later I'll try to use the OBD connector to find uh, what the codes are. And uh, we'll take it from there. So you can uh, use any of the uh, OBD uh, code reader to get the codes, uh, but I used to do some uh, coding and customization using NCS Expert. So I do have the Inpan NCS Expert already uh, installed in one of the uh, Windows XP uh, PC I have. Uh, so as you can see, I already have connected to the OBD2 port. Uh, it's near to the footwell over here. I'm not sure if you can see it. But it's just a matter of like connecting the OBD to the USB port of uh, your laptop. So let me load the INPA. And it says ignition on. So mine is the 92 series, so F3 over here. And it's the engine which is throwing the code. So and mine is the N52 engine uh, for this 328 IBMW. So I'm just going to uh, read, I'm not going to clear the error, I want to know uh, what's the uh, error first, so let me press F4 and I'm just going to uh, read the error, which is F1. So I know it's, it, it's in German, but I did translate it before, so 
uh, th this is the main one, the 2A, 2A87, and I, obviously it says Venus, but uh, the 2A87 was uh, uh, pointing out to the exhaust uh, valve solenoid. Uh, so that's where I'm going to uh, do uh, or start all my troubleshooting related to that. So I'm not sure if you're able to see this clearly. Um, so there are like two connectors over here. Uh, so the first one is the intake valve solenoid and the uh, one below is the exhaust valve solenoid. So the code was pointing to this one and there is a 10 mm nut over here, uh, just one nut. Just remove that and try to take it out and then let's go with the cleaning process. I don't know whether you want to remove this but I'm going to try without removing this air intake snorkel uh, and let's see how it Let's go and open the alpha to clear out the memory. It's the same option, same chain. Read clear memory. And I'm gonna just clear the memory. Read return. Return, okay. Okay, so now let's go for a test drive and see how it works. So as you can see, uh, I have cleared the memory. I don't have the check engine or the uh, service engine soon light now. I'm going to take for a test drive and see uh, how it is. So I'm going to take a pull and see how it's going to perform. The issue seems to be resolved. Uh, I have driven the car for almost like 100 miles after replacing the valve and I haven't seen the uh, service engine soon uh, light and hopefully it's not going to come back. Uh, but anyway, as I said, like I'm going to observe this for the next one month and just to make sure. Uh, but uh, looks to me pretty much uh, it will go away and uh, also taken a couple of very aggressive pulls and uh, stops and uh, I, uh, it doesn't seem to, it, it feels a little bit smooth. Uh, so saying that, uh, let me know what you guys think on the comment section below and if you want to do any specific video rec request on this particular model, uh, let me know or if I come across uh, any other issues, I'll uh, try to post more videos.